that guy's. Not that we're missing anything right now. Alrighty. So yeah, Lix is going to be the Red Mayans here to the east, not going with Chinese. Oh. That's always the killer message right there. It's like when you, you know, you ask, hey, did I do anything wrong? And the text you get back is, it's fine. No caps. That's when you know you, you done effed up. Nanny. Anyway, it's going to be Japanese here for LAN. Now, Japanese are going to be a totally fine sieve here. You got lots of fishies that you're going to be taking. Lots of Dorado, which I learned yesterday, or Mahi Mahi. Um, and with Mayans, you do start with an extra villager. So you can just get those extra that extra person working right away. And because you start with a house, I believe you don't start housed even as Mayans, right? So you can just start making villagers instantly. Yeah, exactly. And remember, the Mayan fish do last 15% longer. So yeah, that's actually a nice bonus for Mayans. You just literally can... You start with one more villager and can begin producing villagers immediately. And looks like Lan is getting... Uh, Loom. So now it's even a two villager lead. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, I can totally see why Mayans are picked here. Now, as far as this matchup goes, and the map uh, Heterochromia, as someone pointed out earlier. In case you don't know, Heterochromia is when you have two different colored eyes. Like you have one blue eye and one green eye. It's, it's pretty rare. It's like, there isn't anything wrong with you. It's just, you know, how you are. But yeah, we really have to imagine this is going to be a good matchup for Mayans. Huskies have that thing? Yeah, Huskies, I believe, can have that thing a lot. Anyway, yeah, Lix just with a nice early lead. Uh, I guess capture age starts a little bit later, but still. Nipples. I would prefer to say eyes. Now, it, it, it would only be nipples if you were like... Uh, if the, the the lakes were also on, like, huge hills. <laughs> oh, my God. Still not as bad as the vagina map. Well, more villagers coming over. And Feudal Age will be coming in first here for LAN. Four Japanese fishing ships is pretty nice. I mean, it's only 5%, but still. Now, are we going to see the villagers come forward for a, uh, well, forward dock? That looks like it's going to be the case. Lix wants to go fast castle. However, if you want to go fast castle on this map, well, you better make sure that you're walled. And make sure your opponent can't build a dock. And I fear for Lix that it is exactly going to be the case that Lan is just going to come forward, build a dock, and then Lix is screwed. Because Lix wants to go, like, fast castle plumed archers or something. Yep, he's even starting to mine stone. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. I mean, this is really unfortunate for Lix, but it's like, you gotta, you gotta expect this, right? This is like the most common strategy on this map. Fire Galley instantly queued up. Double bit axe coming in. And you can see that for his part, Lan is starting to wall himself in a little bit. Okay, yeah. Now Lick sees it. But this is already a really lousy spot. Well, I mean, yeah, because it's like the best strategy. Yeah, but this isn't like an O, oh, you've been playing AoE 4 sort of mistake. This is a. Uh, this map has been around forever, and this strategy has also been around forever on this map. I mean, it used to be galleys back in the day. <laughs> hey, Torvin. Hope you are well. There aren't any villagers here, so you can't even garrison the TC. Outpost coming in, fire galley, and then regular galley queued up. Okay, honestly, okay. Real talk, guys. Lix clicks up to Castle Age. Oh, yeah, but you see... Still have all these resources so close to the shoreline. Oh, uh, having to build a watchtower? That sucks. Anyway, but I was going to say forward castle. Like, just go for the forward castle and just smash them. Market blacksmith on the way. Uh, tower should be able to go up without losing any villagers. Just one galley poking away is not going to do that much. Now for land's part, just as the one dock at home, six fishing ships, that seems pretty reasonable. Oh no, Lix is, Lix is gonna be fine. And he is up on the way to Castle Age. Six villagers mining stone with 270 in the bank. That's gonna be enough for a castle. Adults. So let's see how this is gonna work out. Will we see cav archers? Um, versus Mayans, it seems kind of odd. It's gonna be tricky for cav archers to do well versus Mayans. Barracks on the way. Oh, we stopped mining stone? Forward racks from LAN. Okay, now I'm just confused, guys. Just now getting bit axe? I guess Lix just wants to add extra TCs. Um, usually you delete your starting TC at some point. Just to make sure you don't accidentally uh, use it to make villagers and then have to transport back and forth. Especially if you don't have control of your own pond. Okay, now he's got two vills on stone. I'm so confused, guys. Stonewall's coming in right now from Lan. Okay, now he's going to be dropping a dock. But not... Is there a holiday in the U.S. tomorrow? Yes. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Oh yeah, no way that uh, one galley is going to stop that. But you can queue up one of your own fire galleys at home. War galley upgrade is coming in, though, for Licks. Oh, don't lose the vill. 
Oh, lost the bill. Okay, now it just builds a town center. Well, I guess that makes sense, because if he doesn't build a town center, he literally will be on zero TCs in a moment. And the zero TC play is never really that great. Another dock coming in here from uh, Blue. I still think Lix is going to be working towards that castle drop, though. I'm just not too sure how good it's going to be. Because we have uh, Scale Barding Armor coming in. There's a stable right here. These villagers are super duper exposed. I mean, it's unfortunate that Lix spent all of his time, you know, walling the sides, but just wasn't walled at the front. And isn't walled at this area. Uh, does not have Town Watch. No way he's going to see those knights coming in. War Galley upgrade is the first to come in, but these fire ships are starting to do some damage. Even Japanese fishing ships aren't going to be able to uh, stand up to that amount of fire. Uh, Fletching on the way. Still no knight. You can't afford one. Second TC now coming in for land. Same reason uh, as with Lix. You just don't want to be completely... Yeah, TC's even been destroyed at this point. Now, there's only one demo ship, one fire ship. And even without heated shot, towers get bonus damage against ships. Eagle Scout from Lix. Love the scouting. Both players doing a pretty decent job at that. 58, 65%. Oh, yeah, but look at that eco difference. 800 ish more resources, 900. But yeah, two docks to one. That is just going to be uh, one demo ship. Okay, now there's a knight here. And Lix has no idea about this. Bill count is even for the time being, though. Monastery on the way, so that will at least help out. As Lix slowly, slowly gets the resources for a castle. Yeah, deletes that town center. Just don't want to have to deal with that. A lot of players uh, from AOC, including myself, uh, don't use, like, one hotkey for all your town centers. Um, I just... Just cycle between them. And if you do that method, then having a town center here is really uh, annoying. Right, Eagle gets a nice little kill right there. Oh, but two knights are running in. Uh, there isn't even the fletching upgrade. So, yeah, that tower is not going to be doing a whole hell of a lot of damage to those knights. Uh-oh. Oh, now the navy's coming in here. Demo's just going to trade... Actually, if the demos just trade, though, maybe you can make something happen. Another TC coming in. Hey, who is playing better? Lan is definitely was definitely the stronger player in game number one. Just super solid mechanics. Um, and in game number two, it's been a little bit of a weird one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, Lightness. Third TC now. Or, I guess, second TC from both players, effectively. But, so many dead villagers. Okay, a couple Munkers are coming in. We'll have to delete those knights. Well, Lix will get two conversions on those knights. Horse Caller now coming in for blue. Uh, still doesn't actually have the bow saw upgrade, though. How many kills has this Eagle Warrior gotten? Eagle Scout. Wait, zero? I guess that must have been another one that was made. Now, it doesn't have any armor upgrades, so the Bills will, do, you know, kill the Eagle Scout pretty quickly. But, hey. Love that Lix is also picking up a Relic. Oh, 
and also uh, something else about Lan is Lan is not anybody who's afraid to play messy games. Lan is totally fine with really weird games that are like really grindy. Players are all over the map. It's actually I feel like one of the areas where Lan is uh, at his best. You can even look back to uh, all the way back to Hidden Cup too, um, when he was facing Hera. I mean, Hera eventually got to the finals of that tournament, but I mean, Lan played out of his mind, even though he like lost one to three. That TC is not happening. I know that was a long ass time ago, but still. Lan Nomad. And of course, you know, one Vil, five HP. I mean, need I say more? Actually, I probably do. Uh, in the grand finals of my, uh, my Nomad tournament, uh, Lan was almost defeated. He ha and he just said in the uh, his team chat, one vil, five HP, because that's all he had. He literally had one population. <laughs> it was a five HP villager, but it was able to boom back into like almost max pop by the end of the game. Another fire ship on the way, but comfortable. 15 pop lead for Lan. Seven bills, double the uh, military. Most of that's navy, but having a navy advantage is quite relevant on this map. Now Lan is back to being on three TCs. Almost has enough stone for a castle. He's actually out of stone. But uh, just gonna mosey on that way. Speaking of stone, Lix has plenty of stone for a castle. And I don't see any way that this guy is getting stopped. Light cav upgrade on the way. Oh boy. Licks dropping a castle. Castle to the face. Third TC as well. Well, fourth. TC, but also third TC. Oh, now Lan is going to be coming in with his own castle, but there are these few units right here. Two light cav. Oh, that could be absolutely gigantic. Light cav are first going to be going for the mangonel, not the monks. That, I think, probably was a massive mistake, especially since they didn't get the mangonel. Of course, it's easy to say it uh, in that point, but oh no. Uh-oh, is the Castle of Doubt going to come? Well, Castle does go up for both players, but many, many villagers lost for Lan. Like, six or seven. I mean, I guess it's not, like, catastrophically bad, but it's still pretty bad. So what's next? There's already an almost enough stone for another castle for our blue player. Yeah, Ram's already being prepped from Lan. I really like that. He could go for some samurai. Samurai uh, are going to be quite good against eagle warriors. No, they aren't as good as the swordsman line, but you can actually just like make some samurai, start popping them into your rams. They can do work. Another TC coming in, but actually, well, TCs here, TCs there, TCs everywhere. Now this is an interesting one. Definitely the most interesting game of the day. <laughs> I like that breakfast. Don't tell me that Lan actually knows about this. If he's literally looking for a TC on the other side of the map, which I think he's doing, That's damn impressive. But here comes another castle. Uh oh, Spaghettio. <laughs> this is happening. Monk goes down, but still, land with a larger navy. Castle having to be repaired. Mango is on the way. Oh, conversion onto the high HP fire ship. And it looks like the castle is unable to range right there. 
And so the mangonels will go down without destroying the castle. Yeah, two mangonels even. And there you go. Castle goes up. That tower definitely not doing enough. TC even goes down, but Lan is still on four. Lix is also about to be on four. Already has a wheelbarrow, and again, no bow saw at this point for Lan is pretty painful. I guess the castle is still pretty low in uh, the HP department. Actually, does this map not have any extra stone? I just realized. Okay, no, it does. But it's still not much. You have two tile, or you have four tiles of stone in and around your uh, starting area. Or no, is it more than that? I guess it is. I guess it's eight tiles. So that's actually a lot. And now another castle comes in, and I think Lan is reading the situation correctly. Getting to the Imperial Age is that important next step. And he is going to be doing that a good bit ahead of his opponent. Boom, shakalaka. But now the billion dollar question is, what's the next step here for Lix? He now has a large economic advantage, but he doesn't have access to a ton of gold and stone. Oh. Hand card even coming in. I mean, it seems like Lix is just focusing on economy. Yeah, you know it's a Lix game when uh, you have... Four town centers, three of which are closer to your opponent's TC than your starting TC. And Lan has a TC on the other side of the map, behind his, where his opponent's starting TC yeah. was. Although I still feel like, you know, this is anyone's game, we have to give a pretty big advantage to Lix right, or sorry, to Lan right now, finally getting both oh my god. Because he's just going to have so far ahead to the Imperial Age. Lix can click up right now. Lix can click up. There we go. Eco still in favor of land, but it's super close. And Lix is likely to take a lead very shortly. There we go. University on the way. Neither player really is sort of uh, tipping their hand as to what army composition they want to go for. Lix is just building warships. Lan is building villagers and uh, some other warships. Instantly queues up two trebuchets. And Bodkinero. I guess that is just, again, for the ships. No idea. Okay, there's stone in the middle there. Squires? Shot it. Okay. Fire ships now coming in. Oh, one can try and convert that war galley and is successful in doing so. Oh, uh, now a bunch of ships are popping out. And chicken suit men it is for Lex. I mean, his resources are certainly well balanced for it. And he's not going to have the castles for plumes. A little bit of a run around here. Going to actually try and save this castle. Oh, the vills are blocking. Castle doing a lot of damage. And yeah, Castle of Licks will go down. Although eh, several units are going to die here. And actually there isn't anything to deal with these plumed archers. They do have Bodkin. No ballistics though. Okay, there's a spark coming in. Yeah. Literally one bolt is going to kill three of them. It just needs to get it. Oh, they're too speedy. Oh, damn it. Only two. <laughs> Eldorado. Chainmail armor on the way. Now, although Lan has started to get... a 
few of the upgrades needed for infantry. Oh, okay, now the samurai are on the way. Like I said, they're actually not quite as good as the swordsman line against eagle warriors, but that doesn't mean they're bad. <laughs> they are still good. Oh, but he's actually switching into ranges. Uh-oh. This could be a mistake. Oh, this castle is still tempting to be saved. Eagle warriors running in. They have plus two defense, but no elite until right now. Oh, they are going to be just that much tankier. 100 HP. Castle does unfortunately go down for licks. But these trebuchets, on the other hand, are also going to be going down for land, who has no real way of dealing with the eagles. Samurai queued up in large numbers. But the eagles have caught him off guard. But still, even non-elite samurai, so good. Cutting through those eagles. The issue is going to come in the form of the raiding. Yeah, samurai do train very quickly. Now, I believe, like, the next step for Lix is that he's mining a lot more stone. And he does plan on switching back into um, more castles to get back into plumed archers. But that's still going to be a, a long ways off. And the samurai just trained so damn fast. There's already 19 of them for land, although he's actually out of gold, which is a bit of an issue. And these eagles are running around absolutely everywhere. Almost at 50 villagers killed, four licks. Oh, yeah. Guilds coming in. You know a player is 10,000 IQ galaxy brain when they get the guilds upgrade early. Another gold mine coming in. And Lix knows how to play his four-hour games. So does Lan, actually. Unfortunately, Japanese don't get guilds. Still, more eagles queued up. That's so many dead bills, man. It's just, it's so difficult to defend against eagles when you're spread out all over the place like this. These castles are certainly a help, as are the samurai. Could cannon galleons decide this? Uh, what would cannon galleons accomplish here for blue? Mines don't have cannon galleons, remember. <laughs> no gunpowder. And most of Lix's stuff is uh, away from the shoreline. Yeah, those castles are coming in huge for land. Okay, so we'll actually not be for plumed archers. Lix deciding that the plumes are just a little too slow to get going. Like, he, there are a lot of samurai, and he needs them... The anti-samurai unit much sooner rather than much later. Stone shaft mining, though. Chemistry coming in. And, I mean, Lan is looking for a bit of revenge. Just now getting handcart. Lix has had that one for a long, long time. Yeah, fully upgraded eagle warriors here. Another castle coming in defensively. This will allow plumed archer production to resume. Although still only with Vodkanero. Man, this is a great game. Now Lix isn't the one who's in a strong spot, but I wouldn't quite count out Lan just yet. The villager count is still pretty painful, though. Oh my god, they still haven't cleaned up all the eagles. 96 villagers killed this game by Lix, and he's at 142 with Mayans. That's always really scary. Bracer coming in. Uh, no thumb ring just yet, but still. No samurai are not going to be loving life. Arson as well. I mean, if Land doesn't have an answer to this soon, he is going to fall apart. Now getting padded archer armor, he probably wants to go for elite skirmishers to help deal with the arbalests. But he's lost so much economy that he's going to struggle to actually even get there. Conscription, thumb ring, both coming in for licks. 
against Arb plus Eagle, I mean, technically Samurai plus Skirmisher is probably your best bet. But, I mean, it's it's tricky uh, both ways, right? Arb plus Eagle is a double gold army composition. So you would kind of expect um, you'd want a, a double gold army composition to deal with that. Oh, man. Licks crossing the 100 villagers killed threshold in this game. Like, look at Lix's map control right now. He doesn't have the far right corner and the far left corner, but he has everything else. And yes, Lance Castles are definitely keeping him safe for the time being. Now getting scale, uh, or sorry, plate farting, plate mail armor. There we go. You cycle through the Blacksmith Texan, eventually you'll get the right one. But just more villagers keep on dying, and it's forcing Land to spend more resources replacing dead villagers, which is resources he's not spending on very important upgrades like Elite Samurai, or important units, like making any amount of Elite Skirmishers. This is also giving Lix the time to get Cap Ram, he can get Siege Ram soon, he can get Elite Plumed Archer very soon. Although maybe uh, Lix would make the de determination that Arbs are just going to be better than Plumes because Samurai do get a bunch of bonus damage versus Plumes and, you know. Yes, Arbs and Plumes are both good against Samurai, but Arbs would be better. And yes, the Trebs are trundling forward, as I like to say. Yeah, Lix has an enormous lead. He's <laughs> 201 pop right now. I guess he had a conversion somewhere. There's Elite Samurai, though. Uh, that feels like a misclick. Another Archer Armor, Elite Plumed Archer on the way. But the Skirm numbers are now starting to climb. Land's actually killed a lot of villagers somewhere. Or, no, I think they might have just been deleted. Um, no, not necessarily. You're still more often see mass plumed archers in, like, late game team games than, uh, than Arbalusts because they're faster and tankier. But yes, the fact that plumes, uh, deal only two damage as opposed to three damage to paladins is very relevant. Oh, here's the big fight, guys. The samurai are gonna cut through the eagles like butter. But of course... The issue is that if the Skirms aren't finding the Arbs, they're not doing anything useful against the Eagle Warriors. Oh, and the Arbs are now on the hill. They do have Thumb Ring. Oh my god, the Eagles are dropping, though. <laughs> Turns out Samurai kill Eagles pretty darn well. They're even missing Blast Furnace. Uh-oh. Now it's just looking like Skirms versus Arbs. Oh, there's only plus one defense, though, for Lan. That is a huge issue. Yeah, I love the music, too. I don't get why most casters don't have music on. I feel like it adds a lot to the ambiance. But yeah, Lix is looking like he wants to tie up this series, guys. A uh, huge eagle run by as well. Samurai going to be running right into Arbs. For what it's worth, Lix also has a couple relics. And there is the... No, just GG. 7% more efficient of an economy there for Lix. Really well done. Like, that was a Lix game through and through, right? He went for a fast castle, lost water to just the straight-up dock rush, made a forward dock only in Castle Age, and just found a way through really smart play to make it back. That, to me, this is a YouTube game. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Really back and forth. 41 text to 28, damn. Well, I mean, that speaks to the way better economy.